Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advance Paper 1 Physics in the year 2021. The question is from the topic of EMI and this is slightly controversial in nature because of one assumption that's missing. So let's see what's happening over here. There's a long infinite wire which carries the current capital I uh, in the shown direction and the value of I has been given as 2 ampere. We'll uh, draw the uh, figure along with. So basically, this is a long wire which carries current capital I. Okay. Now, parallel to this, there is an uh, infinite rails which are having zero resistance, and there is a smooth semicircular wire that can slide on these rails. Okay. And this loop has been completed with the help of a resistor and a capacitor. The capacitance is 5 microfarad and the resistance is 1.4 ohms. At t equals to 0, the capacitor was uncharged. This distance has been given as 1 centimeter and this distance has been given as 4 centimeters. Now, it's said that the wire starts moving, this semicircular wire starts moving at a speed of 3 meter per second. So we have to find the maximum current in the loop. That means maximum current in this uh, in this circuit and the maximum charge on the capacitor. This is the question. Now, let's first find the, suppose at any instant the velocity is V. Kisi instant pe velocity V. Okay. Now this whole wire can be replaced by a straight wire for the purpose of EMF calculation. Jitna EMF is may induce hoga, same EMF will be induced in this straight wire. How can we prove this? Consider this. Is semicircle may flux change nahi ho hai because the total flux in this semicircle you can say is constant. The flux will be due to the magnetic field of this long wire. So total flux is may constant rahega. Right, or jo EMF ki jo polarity rahegi, to wo aisi rahegi. This can be seen by the direction of V cross V. So velocity vector upper hai aur magnetic field screen plane ke andar ja raha hai. To V cross V agar karenge to positive polarity will be like this. Net EMF must be zero because flux is not changing. Flux is constant. So net EMF must be zero. So, jitna EMF yaha induce hua, utna EMF yaha induce hua. So, this can be replaced by a single wire like this. So, isko make single wire se replace kar sakte. Theek hai. Now, let's consider a small element dx at a distance x. Let's write the EMF induced in this. Let's say the EMF induced in this is de, which will be equals to bvl. b at this location due to this wire is mu naught i by 2 pi x velocity of this is v at an instant and the length is dx so if you integrate this so emf induced will become mu naught i upon 2 pi v dx by x will become ln uh, ln x and x will vary from 1 centimeter to 4 centimeters so this will become mu naught i v upon 2 pi ln of 4. ln 4 can be written as 2 ln 2. So that 2 and this 2 will be gone and this will become ln 2. This is the induced EMF. Now, the controversy is that if we assume V to be constant, which of course is not possible because there will be a magnetic force because of the current flowing in this loop and that magnetic force will retard this wire. That means the velocity of this wire will decrease. So if we assume that to be true, then in this case, the uh, question will become unsolvable because we will require mass, data will become incomplete. See, in this case, we have to find the maximum current and the maximum charge. Maximum current, that can be solved, but maximum charge, we will not be able to find because we will require the value of the mass and also the differential equation and like, you know, the mathematics will become too difficult to handle. Uh, also, the data will become incomplete. So I believe that IIT will make this assumption that you know velocity supposedly should be constant. So anyway, so 
let's first find the value of i max. So maximum current will happen when the EMF is maximum and the EMF is maximum when the velocity is maximum. So anyway, if velocity was changing also, then also for i maximum, we can say that will be equals to E upon R. Correct. So that is mu naught I V ln 2 upon pi into R. Okay. So even if V was changing, then also I max will not change. I max will be the same. That means we can find the value of I max, whether we, we take velocity to be changing with time or velocity to be constant. Although uh, in reality, velocity should change if there is no external agent. So just put the value of mu naught, which is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. Value of I given in the question is 2 amperes. This I is the current flowing in the wire. Velocity at time 0 will be 3. Ln2 is 0.7 given in the question. Divide by pi into resistance is 1.4. So 2 and 0.7 will become 1.4. This will get cancelled. Pi and pi cancel. Ho gaya. So this will become 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 6. And hence, I max ki value aati 1.2 into 10 power minus 6. Okay. So as I said, agar apan velocity ko change hota hua bhi maanenge, to bhi maximum current to time 0 pe hi aajayega. And at that instance, velocity was 3 only. Thik hai? To, us to basically is assumption se ki velocity is changing or not, I max ko koi parak nahi padne wala. But, charge ke liye, uh, if we assume velocity to be constant, then the charge to fir simply CE will be CE. Q max ki value is CE ho for velocity. If we assume that velocity is constant, assume then we can say that it RC circuit will be converted to the RC circuit, where EMF ki value is constant hai because velocity is constant. Then we can write charge ko apan CE. Likh sakte Capacitance is 5 into 10 to the power minus 6. Thik hai, and EMF ki value is the same. Then we can write it here. So mu naught. और तुम या फिर EMF की वैल्यू ये 1 I max into R लिख सकते हो सीधा ठीक है EMF की वैल्यू यहां से I max into R लिख सकते हैं तो I max कितना आया था 1.2 10 to the power minus 6 और R कितना आया था 1.4 ठीक है तो ये सॉल्व करने से कितना 12 5 जा 60 एंड 46 जा 84 तो ये हो रहा है 8.4 ठीक है 10 to the power minus 12 राइट right? So Q max becomes 8.4 into 10 power minus 4 coulombs. Again, this is correct only if we assume velocity to be constant, which in my opinion is not the reasonable assumption to make. But if we uh, if we uh, actually try to capture the vari variable nature of velocity, then as I told you, the data will become incomplete. So in my opinion, IIT will consider A and C as the correct answer. However, uh, they might go with only A as correct also if uh, there are enough challenges that are raised. But I have that hunch, I have that, you know, uh, like my sixth sense is saying that IIT will be taking A and C both as correct. Or they might also give release to answer keys, uh, both A, C correct or single A correct as well. But uh, I have strong feeling that they will be going with A and C. That's what I feel. Although I have told you, that uh, in reality velocity will change and that will make the value of Q max like option C wrong. Because we will not be able to find the value of Q max because for finding Q max the value of mass should be should have been given in the question. So that's it. I hope you would have understood. Thank you.